What's going on guys? Team Captain Gomer back for another MLB The Show 21 Road to... <laughs> Don't click off please. I promise you it pertains to Diamond Dynasty. Um, we are going to be talking about how to make a very good ball player. El Pelotero in MLB The Show 21. Uh, how to upgrade your... You know, six foot ten, green haired, hundred twenty five pound, looks like an action figure, has a beard like Tom Hanks and Castaway, uh, create a player. So uh, before we get into that, as always, leave a like down below. Always appreciated. Uh, subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. We post a lot of tips, a lot of gameplays. Finally, we have some. Finally, it's been like four days, Jesus. Content coming into the game, so we're gonna cover that today. Uh, seriously, I really do appreciate all you guys' support. Uh, so hit that button, damn it. Um, getting into this one now. So, it is moderately different. Uh, not really reinventing the wheel. It's the perfect amalgamation, in my opinion, of a game mode I play, Diamond Dynasty, and a game mode I don't play. And I'm gonna continue to not play, Road to the Show. So. Uh, they really just changed it a little bit, I suppose, and this is the gist of it. This is the breakdown of what you have to know. So, you're going to have to access it through your, whatever logo you have here. I'm repping my, I'm repping the worldwide fan base of the Tampa Bay Rays here. Uh, so, here's my players. So, you can edit, this is how you put equipment on, which that works the same way if you guys are familiar. Uh, equipment, boost, attributes, that's how you put it on right there. I was confused for a little bit. So, here is the first thing to know, which is your archetype. That is the uh, the big diamond, not the two smaller ones. This is your archetype that you get to choose, you know, generally how you're going to play. And you can uh, continue to swap these out and you can you know, really just play around with what works for you. And you can have different loadouts, different archetypes. So you want to play a different way, you can do that. And each archetype has a different progression system. So slugger is what I chose. You have preferred positions of first base, catcher, third base, and corner outfield. And you can see you generally start off with uh, a lot more power, a lot more oomph, more Dijon behind that bat, which is what I'm looking for. Of course, power is the name of the game, especially on the lower difficulties uh, that you're going to be playing on. If you hop into your first ranked seasons game, it's going to be on veteran you know you can sneeze and the ball might go out so especially if you play it ship it or you know the 300 foot stadiums uh, abominations people are making so i recommend slugger um there are other ones of course ones that more pertain to pitching if that's more your forte speedster this would be kind of your middle infield center field and uh yeah so kind of just think about what you want then perks this is your kind of secondary and tertiary attribute boost slash subtractions. As you guys can not see right here, horse face uh, in the way, you have upgrades and you have downgrades based on each perk. So it's just as important to finding what you want as it is finding what you don't want to lose. So with this speed, six... Seven, I'm great with Roman numerals, clearly. Uh, eight plus speed, but you're going to lose a couple power. So that's something you're going to have to take into effect. Power three, I lose some contact, but I'm going to gain a plus six power per side. So it's really all about trade-offs at the end of the day. And it works essentially the same way as this goes uh, for your perks. So you select really what you want here, and it's going to give you additional boosts alongside your archetype that you pick. Moving on from there, this is the progression system, which is going to be uh, moderately to severely important. It is, you know, how you're going to progress your player. And you need 100 points. This is how I did it quickly. I did this actually, I think, two and a half hours this morning. I think that's pretty fair pretty fair estimate i didn't exactly pull out the stopwatch but generally i think that was about how long it took me and this is what i had to, uh had to do just missions like this for slugger it's extra base hits that's essentially all you have to do uh so tally eight extra base hits you get 20 uh points out of the 100 that you need this is a one-time ordeal tally four is 10 so if you get eight or rather if you get uh eight <laughs> Um, you are already already progressing 35 out of the 100 possible points. And what I did is I just kept repeating this two extra base hits mission, which I'll tell you how I did that 
You're the best route that I believe you can take for that one, but first we'll just kind of go over this. Uh, at the end, the biggest thing you're going to get is uh, exclusive archetype rewards, which is going to um, progress, of course. You saw I started with a bronze slugger, and after completing all this, I have now a silver slugger, um, which is going to translate to more specific fine-tuned attributes. So if you want better fielding and power, this is power and speed, this is power and contact. So just further kind of identifying your niche as a player, I suppose. Of course, equipment does make you quite well-rounded um, at the end of the day. And I do kind of want to show you guys that quickly. So we're going to hop back into Diamond Dynasty. Again, you can do that stuff to Road to the Show, which I'll show you guys as well. I just don't really like Road to the Show. I think there's a whole lot of fluff and not that much uh, entertainment, I guess you would say. And it's faster, in my opinion, also to just grind through Diamond Dynasty. So here's that archetype then that we're going to see. Uh, opening that pack here. Reveal all, baby. Um, I'm not a fan of this. Oh, I get all of them. Okay. I was going to say, <laughs> you're not going to show me like the attributes. I'm just going to have to go in blind like Helen Keller and just choose one of them. What the hell? Not the case, I suppose. Um, then perk packs as well. You get to choose two here. Um, and it's all power. So, <laughs> you know, increases power but decreases contact and speed. Uh, what do I not really care about? Plate vision, bat and clutch. Bat and clutch means about nothing. But this is probably the best. Fielding, arm accuracy, and reaction. Depends where you have your player, of course. At the end of the day, everything is going to be up to your own situation. Let me just see. Are these terrible? Yeah, they're not exactly what I would consider to be good. Uh, is that the Robinson Cano glove? Does it come with a fresh needle? Huh? Does it come with some uh, you know, fresh steroids direct from the dealer? Maybe a phone number to him as well? Could be useful for Road to the Show in that case. So just a little sneak peek of what you actually get there. Um, so that's what you get once you do the packs. And now we should be able to move on to our uh next uh tier our next progression point so as you can see our overall is finally moving up now and you can see what it's going to do for you uh we have contact getting boosted up 22 we have speed getting boosted up so uh right now i have him kind of a first or more so catcher in mind that i want to make so uh speed isn't that important to me so we're going to put in sparking slugger all right, a few program, and then we're going to have a, another new path to earn rewards in which we have a gold archetype pack at the end. Uh, you also get a fair amount of XP, which is cool, just kind of an added bonus. And now there's different stuff, uh, different objectives for me to do. As I said, these are always going to depend on what tier archetype you have and what archetype that you have as well. Uh, so here we go. Remember, these can all be done in play versus computer, which, spoiler alert, is where I did it. Uh, 20 hits gets you 5 points. 10 hits gets you uh, 5 points. Cool. I get the same amount of points. Uh, makes no sense, but sure. Um, 20 extra base hits gets you 10. Uh, these are, of course, all one-time ordeals. And uh, there's a couple repeatable, getting four hits, three extra base hits, which is going to get you a few. Let me see if Road to the Show is more worth it here. Get yeah, 80 hits. So the thing with Road to the Show is the best way to super speed through that. If you are somebody who enjoys Road to the Show, personally, uh, that is not me. That is not me. Um, but you can turn off fielding opportunities since that doesn't get you any progress for this. Uh, at least with this archetype, it does not. Diamond Dynasty, I think, is just a surefire bet. So what I was doing to get my first pack, that silver archetype right there, is I was just playing through Play vs. Computer. I think that is the easiest way to do it, especially if you have one of the new consoles that has a ridiculously fast load time. So just have yourself bat lead off. Make sure you're a switch hitter. Uh, and make sure you have a kind of decent starting pitcher, like an 88, because uh, you want to face off against a righty. I think the easiest way to hit in MLB The Show is a lefty against a righty switch hitter. You're always going to bat on the lefty side if you are facing a right-hander. Uh, so just go play versus computer, select the Orioles away. You'll face, I think, Jorge Lopez, as long as your pitcher is like above a, like a 66, so... <laughs> I don't know, just buy one if you don't have a 66 overall pitcher yet. And uh, yeah, you essentially just go into games, bat once, uh, you get an extra base hit, cool. You don't get an extra base hit, not as cool, but you just back out and you head back into it. 
So like I said, load times make this super, super easy and a lot less frustrating than it would be prior to. I also recommend if you guys haven't really been doing Conquest, that's a perfect way to knock two birds out with one stone because you also do get repeatable rewards for innings played, which is going to, you know, of course, be helpful. Uh, just uh, add more points to you and you get good rewards through Conquest as well. Um, so the one I'm doing right now, a hit is cool. But the one I was doing prior, the slugger archetype that I had, only uh, extra base hits mattered. So, whatever happens, whether it's a hit, home run, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, just back out at that point uh, and go into another one. It's really quick load times, like I said. If you guys are curious what batting stance I have been using, I've been using Shohei Otani. I think Otani has some of the best opposite field animations I've ever seen. I'll probably make a separate video on every swing that I would really recommend, but uh, just know for now that I think Otani's quite good, so try that one out. I didn't mess with anything other than that. And uh, don't make your cap too small. Don't make him too big. I don't think. I think uh, six foot, you know, the optimum male height, such as myself, 5'11 in reality, six foot on Tinder. Let's, let's be real here. But uh, that's really going to about wrap it into a nice tight little gift bag, I think. Yeah, so that's what I recommend. I think Slugger's a cool one to do for sure, if that is kind of your priority. Uh, do keep in mind, again, what positions are typically thin. Second base, there is Soriano, but are you in the vicinity? Or can you smell Soriano from here? Probably not, especially if you're no money spent. Catcher is always a good spot as well. Yes, we have the Piazza, who is within the first inning program, but I'm not too swoon, not too uh, taken by that Piazza card. Uh, so Slugger for Catcher, I think, is a great spot to look at. And yeah, if you guys have any other questions, make sure to let me know in the comments section. Um... So yeah, I don't know why it doesn't actually show his boost. Because you don't have 30s across the board. Again, I find that rather strange. Maybe they will patch that at some point. But yeah, my stats are right here. <laughs> you know, so they're not nearly as bad as it would make you believe there. Uh, it's going to take a little bit a uh, little bit of time. But again, it, you know, it was two and a half hours until I got him to this point. And a great thing to do if you're grinding out Conquest and that sort of thing. So if you guys did enjoy this one, as always, leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. Let me guess what we're going to do. Thanks for the audience.